Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Terror Land. This is your girl Zingaya, who's in Libra, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. How is everyone? Thank you for viewing me. Thank you, and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys for growing the channel. I really appreciate it. And guys, if you like my vibe, hit that join button and become a Shiro, become an Ark Slayer. You guys get a lot of good perks and you get to be more personal with me. You get to step inside my life a little bit, you know. Um, I love my members, you know, and um, you're my soul family, my soul tribe. So if you want to be a part of my soul tribe, hit that join button. All right. All right, guys. Of course, if you follow me, you know that I check in with each member of my soul family. And now it's time for me to check in with the universe. The masculine energy, which is the universe. Um, the father. Yeah, and I'm letting the father tell us what they, what he sees is going on out here in his ethers. I know he sees a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when you ask the Father to reveal it to you, you best believe the Father is going to reveal it to you. So don't ask. <laughs> because that's some real stuff for your ass. Ask and it shall be given. So if you don't want to know, don't be asking, okay? If you don't want it, don't ask for it. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, he's definitely going to give it to you. All right? All right, well, let's see what's going on out in the ether, see what the Father has to say. And the re the energy for this particular reading is brokenhearted. Mm. We got a divine feminine that's over here brokenhearted. Just brokenhearted because people around her, she had a lot of people around her, uh, around her home, around her neighborhood, people that she, she thought were her friends and what and All these people were betraying her. These people were... Uh, doing a ceremony on her. They were doing magic on her. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, constant magic. I mean, she had people all around her, and this broke her heart because she thought this was people that she cared about, people that she could trust, and she never thought that these people would turn on her like that. And so she's brokenhearted. You know what I'm saying? These people have uh, been attacking her finances, so she's over there having financial constraints. You know, she hasn't doesn't have any food in the cupboard. You know what I'm saying to feed her children, less known herself. You know, she's doing bad over there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, sh you know the bills. I mean, I don't know if she's she's not able to pay her bills. You know what I'm saying? I mean, doing pretty bad over there. You know what I'm saying? And she's brokenhearted that. This people or this person would do this to her, would want her in this situation. I mean, they've caused all this. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got no food because they didn't want her to have none. She ain't got no money because they didn't want her to have none. I mean, they wanted her to just be a broke bum out in the street. You know what I'm saying? They don't want her to have a place to stay. And she's so distraught and brokenhearted. She can't believe that these people or this person would want her to be in this position. And she's never harmed any hair on anybody's head. You know, why would this person want this for her? I mean, it's some evil people out here, boy. It's some, it's some evil people out here. And of course, I have my power of three up here. I have my three feminine energies up here to help me deliver this message, um, help the Father deliver this message. You know, um, it, it's sad. And the first energy that I pulled is fearless love. Whenever I choose to love myself, no matter the circumstances surrounding me, I am practicing fearlessness. And yes, you are, ladies. That's what I preach on this channel about self-love and loving yourself. See, this person that's doing this, these people that are doing this, these are narcissists. And the only way to conquer a narcissist is to love yourself. And she's done that, you know what I'm saying? She's mastered herself through all this, through her being hungry, not able to pay the bills, not able to take care of her children, not able to get around like she should, you know what I'm saying, eat like she should, you know what I'm saying, not able to do too much or nothing. Um, she still loved herself, you know what I'm saying? She wasn't depressed, she didn't give up on herself, you know what I'm saying? And doing this, you know what I'm saying, you stay in that high esteem, you're practicing fearlessness. This is your shield your self-love to beat these narcissists, you know what I'm saying? And through it all, she loved herself. She never gave up on herself. And that's why the universe is giving her a gift. The universe is giving you a gift. You could be getting a promotion or something. 
but something is going to improve in your finances and you're going to be comfortable. You're going to be able to sleep well at night. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be very satisfied. You're going to have a lot of lazy days, honey, because uh, you to rest, you know, because I know you've been having a lot of sleepless nights just thinking about how you're going to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How you're going to feed your children? How you're going to pay this bill? You know what I'm saying? But through it all, you loved yourself, and that's self-mastery. That's what I'm talking about, ladies. This is how you beat these narcissists, fearless self-love. I mean, these some dirty people out here, boy. They want you just, 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 I mean, these people just, just pitiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The second energy that I pulled is divine patience. My soul brings forth the right conditions and opportunities for me. The best answers and solutions are delivered at the best times. See, this feminine had divine patience. She held on. She held on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she checked her emotions. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know we emotional, especially when we can't put food on the table for our children. We get very emotional. We get to crying because women, we're compassionate and we're nurturers. You know what I'm saying? We'll starve. But our kids, they're going to eat. You know what I'm saying? So you've been going through a lot. You know what I'm saying? But you held on and you had divine patience. You know that this was going to lift up in divine timing. You know what I'm saying? You knew that this was going to stop at divine timing, and it's over. It's the end of this cycle of these people doing this to you, honey. You know what I'm saying? You can dry your eyes. You know what I'm saying? The divine been watching. They see what's been going on. You know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you kept your head up. You know what I'm saying? And had divine patience. That's faith. That's what divine patience is, faith. I mean, these, these people crazy. You know what I'm saying? These people crazy, and you just got to hold on. You know, hold on, yeah, change is coming, you know what I'm saying? Change is coming, baby, and it's coming for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> and the third one that I pull, flow of partnership. The ebb and flow of relationship takes me where I need to be next on my path. You've been having... Um, you were supposed to be in this spiritual contract with somebody, this spiritual relationship, and y'all was supposed to be a power couple. But this person chose a different path. You know what I'm saying? So now you and this particular person that you had this spiritual contract with, you guys are having conflict. You guys were arguing and having conflict because this is the particular person that uh, was doing this to you. Your spirit partner, your spirit mate, your soul mate was doing this to you, you know what I'm saying, attacking your finances, you know, things not going right at your home. This is this person has been doing this. How this person is some type of warlock or something. Yeah, this person is sitting over there, you know what I'm saying, living nice, got money, and uh, wants you to ask for it. That's what he wants you to do. He wants you to crawl to him. And this is somebody that is your soulmate. This is a narcissist. But, you know, Dealing with this particular person, fighting with this particular person, this experience has trained you and developed you in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? So take the lessons that you learn and move on. You know what I'm saying? The divine is going to handle this person. You best believe it. Okay? All right, boo. You know, just sad. This is somebody you supposed to have been a power couple with, and he's sitting over here um, making sure you don't have no money, no finances or nothing. I mean, you ain't even got food to eat. You know what I'm saying? And this is how this person like it. He's a monster. He's a monster. Okay, y'all. Let's see what of course the universe has out here and see what energy we're going to attract, y'all. Okay. We have Egyptian. Has a little penis. Typical. A narcissist usually does. <laughs> Overnight celebrity. Cash app. Devil's advocate. Pay attention to your kids, not me. Ancestors are on it. Only fans and no money. That's interesting. An interesting potpourri out here. I wonder what's up with that, you know? But we shall see. Let's get this tarot out here, y'all. Let's get this tarot out here. Yeah. You uh over there at your home, you protected in your home, you know. 
but you having financial constraints. This person wants to try to come and bribe you and give you some money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's trying to, he's making chaos in your life so he can come and um, be the savior. You know what I'm saying? That's what these uh, places like Red Cross and stuff do. That's what the government does. You know what I'm saying? You know, they make chaos and then they come in like they the savior. You know what I'm saying? With FEMA and stuff like that. When they the ones that created the damn chaos, okay? Let's put one on Egyptian. Let's put one on Egyptian. Let's put one on Egyptian. <laughs> Somebody wants to rekindle a relationship. Somebody from your past. You know, I mean, this is out in the open now, you know. Um, you could have Egyptian in your blood, Egyptian background. This is why this person wants to rekindle a relationship with you because of your origin, because of your DNA. Okay. A lot of people in these uh, societies, secret societies, they they label you and they know your backgrounds and they do um, marry because of what a people um, own and where they come from, their generation, their, their, their lineage comes from to attach themselves to people, especially if they have a, a ancestry that goes way back, you know what I'm saying, uh, royalty and money and land and stuff. So yeah, this person is trying to attach themselves to you because you have Egyptian DNA in your background. Yeah. Has a little penis. Let's put one on has a little penis. <laughs> this person has a little penis. That's why he has to work with a group. You know what I'm saying? This person has low self-esteem, you know, um, as a follower, you know. Um, don't believe in themselves, so they have to attach themselves to groups to make themselves feel important. Mm-hmm. Yep. Let's put one on Overnight Celebrity. Yeah, this person had a whole group over there attacking this feminine. They was doing all type of rituals and ceremonies on her from afar, you know, attacking her. Yeah. Because he want to just broke and busted, you know. Let's put one on Overnight Celebrity. Hmm. And this is what he does. He's creating chaos so he can come in and um, give you money and he'll be your savior. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just a sad person. A very sad, sad person. You know. Hmm. Little dick energy. <laughs> a follower, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honey, you're going to be an overnight celebrity. We know you're tired. You know you're exhausted. You're tired of fighting, you know what I'm saying? But you have not getting there. And because of this, this is the gift the universe is going to give you. You're going to be an overnight celebrity, sweetheart, so don't worry about it. And this person knows it, too. That's why this person was trying to manipulate you, kind of trying to get you to submit to him. That's why they're attacking your finances. Yeah. Let's put one on Cash App. Let's put one on Cash App. These people are sad. and These men attacking women. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you'd be surprised how many men hate women. And it's not women that they hate. They hate strong, independent women. The divine feminine, that's who they hate. It's sad. They hate her because they want to be her. These are men that are gay and in their feminine energy, and they want to be the feminine. They want to take the place of a feminine. Yeah, they do. Let's put on the cash app. I talk about the Ashapu priest uh, on my other channel, uh, Woman is God. Um, I have uh, videos on there called Goddess Talk. You can go and um, go on the playlist or just hit my videos. And I talk about these Ashapu priests that uh, want to rule, you know, that are running the country now. These are men that wear makeup, that are homosexual, you know what I'm saying, that um, behind the doors they do all type of stuff. But in the scene they uh, lined up good, stiff collar, you know, business men looking, you know what I'm saying, ties and Brooks Brothers suits and behind the scenes they bent over a desk somewhere, somewhere you know what I'm saying, um, having sex with other men, you know. 
Uh, they want to be the woman. They wish they had uh, a vagina, basically, you know. These are the ones that wear the makeup, they wear the dresses, they cross-dress behind the scenes, or, you know what I'm saying, or just said forget it and just changed their whole life and just became women uh, out to the public, you know what I'm saying, like like your boy, uh, what's the boy that was married to the Kardashian? Like him, he just said forget it, he just came on out, you know what I'm saying? And that's how a lot of them is, you know what I'm saying? Let's put one on cash app. Yeah, this person could have probably blocked your cash app, so you won't you won't move forward. You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> I mean that's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? They even stopped your cash app. People want to get send you cash on your cash app. This particular person, I don't know if he's connected or yeah, he's connected. He's working with this group over here behind the scenes. That there's a lot of hackers and stuff that can stop you from getting donations on your cash app or your or your PayPal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they don't want you to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Because this person is in regret um, that they didn't uh, get with you in the first place. And they're mad that you won't reconcile with them, so they stopped your cash app. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this should be against the law, y'all. You know, with these people that got connections with the law. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the people that I'm talking about. Yeah, I know them people. Let's put one on Devil's Advocate. Damn, he done stopped her cash up and everything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he just don't want her to have nothing. That's nothing. Put one on Devil's Advocate. There's some evil people out here, y'all. Yeah, he's Devil's Advocate. Look at him. He over there attacking his feminine. He's so immature. He's spying on her. You know what I'm saying? Watching what she doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling how he's spying on her. He probably got some doing some type of voyeurism or he parked outside her crib, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just pitiful, but he's spying and he's lurking all around her, investigating her life, just all in her life, all in her business, you know what I'm saying? Trying to see how he can, he's spying on her to see how he can trap her, you know what I'm saying? How he can get her and bind her, hell, he probably even want to kidnap her, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he's crazy, I mean, this group, He's a part of this group, you know what I'm saying? And these are Satanists, you know what I'm saying? He's the devil's advocate. These are Satanists. And he probably wants to kidnap her and bind her, and you know what I'm saying? And pitiful. Let's put one on pay attention to your kids, not me. Yeah, this person ain't even paying attention to his kids. He's not a good father, you know what I'm saying? Not at all. He can't be because he's all over here in his feminist life, you know? Just straight attacking her. And she can't believe it. She ain't never did nothing to this person. And he's just doing the most. Just because he want to rekindle the relationship. Doing the most. Act like he's mad because she leveled up. I mean, just doing the most. For no particular reason. Out of jealousy and envy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He need to pay attention to his kids. And not her. You know what I'm saying? The magic is not working. You know what I'm saying? He's over here... Um, ignoring the kids and stuff, too busy uh, trying to do spell work on his feminine that he ain't even paying attention to his kids. And the spell work is not even working. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? He doing all this spell work on her because he do not want her to be the queen of pentacles. He want her to be broke and, and hurt and down and in the gutter. He don't want her to have anything, you know? That's a shame, boy. Let's put one on ancestors on it. Ancestors are on it. He don't want her to have nothing. You know what I'm saying? And he don't want her to move forward unless she rekindled this relationship with him. Who the hell he think he is? You know, you can move forward, but 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 you uh you gonna be with me? Yeah, ancestors are on it. You know what I'm saying? Ancestors are on it, and the ancestors is taking everything from this particular person. Everything from this particular person. Ancestors are on it. This person is not going to be able to take your blessing. They not going to be able, he's not going to be able to stop you from having this, this blessing. You know? And he don't want you to have nothing. He don't want you to have no money. He don't want you to have no money. This person is so toxic. 
You know what I'm saying? And you're an empress. You sitting up here, you're an empress. He don't want you to have nothing. He's mad because you won't be in a, in a relationship with him. That you won't be in a commitment. You won't have a commitment with him. He's mad. He wants to start a new destiny with you. He feel that you and him can go out here and conquer the world. And he want to be in a partnership with you. So that's why he's causing towers into your life. Because you won't be with him. You won't be my girlfriend. That's what he's doing it for. That's a shame. Let's put one on OnlyFans. He's attacking you because you won't be his girlfriend. Ain't that something? Psh, boy. And he chose a totally different path. And you so hurt because you really cared about this person. And you can't believe this person over here is doing this. I mean, you ain't got no food to eat. You over here crying at your, at your house. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he don't care. I mean, you, you broken hearted. You are broken hearted. And I feel you. You know? But that's okay. It's the end of this, baby. And you're just going to be concerned about yourself. You know what I'm saying? When you get this gift. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to be independent. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to heal. You know what I'm saying? And um, you're going to be good. You know, your ancestors are on it. You know what I'm saying? And you will get this new money. Okay? It's old money. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be new money to you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's put one on OnlyFans over there. Only fans. Only fans. Okay. Yeah. This person over here, uh, his family, you know what I'm saying, ain't working out. You know, ain't no love or nothing, nothing there. You know what I'm saying? These people over here, they got only fans account that they're working. You know what I'm saying? And they doing it because they don't have no money. Mm-hmm. So they selling um, themselves sexually on uh, only fans. Yeah. Yeah. And this is how they getting their money. Mm-hmm. This is how they getting their money. Mm-hmm. Yep. But you're going to have a victory, sweetheart. Just don't give this person none of your energy because they are, he's obsessed with your energy. Okay? This is a wicked, wicked, wicked people. Let's put one on our money. No money. I mean, they ain't got no money over there. They ain't got no love over there. The relationship sucks. The kids are running around everywhere. The kids are karmic because they both karmics. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, you ain't got no, they ain't got no money because you blocking them. I don't know how you... I, they, I guess they you blocking him. That's why he ain't got no money. That's why he trying to come your way. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. You know, this person took a bribe to do this to you. He took a bribe from this, this group to do this to you, to have you in financial constraints. Mm -hmm. This person, you ain't got no money over there because this person is blocking it. This is what this person does. He lives, eat, and, 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 and poops out uh, blocking you. You know what I'm saying? And he's happy that he's blocking you. He's happy that he's blocking you. He's happy. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a, a person with unethical behavior. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he does anything for money. Sells drugs, prostitute, pimping, whatever he do. Uh, this is what he does for money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and he's happy that you broke over there. And he wants you to suffer. He wants you to be stressed out. You know, he wants you to be stressed out. That, that, that things are going his way if you're stressed out. He don't want you to work. You know what I'm saying? He want to be able to manipulate you emotionally. You know, but you won't be in the two of cups with him. And that's why he's mad. That's why he's been doing all sneaky stuff behind your back. Because you blocked him, and you know the truth about him, and you don't want nothing to do with him. You know what I'm saying? And he's holding on to you. He's holding on to you, but you won't give him love. You won't sleep with him or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because this person is a purity fool. You know what I'm saying? He wants to build something with you. He wants to be in a relationship with you, but you don't want nothing to do with him. You don't want, you're not giving him none of your energy, and you're moving forward in life. And he feels like he's a, a, a failure, that he lost out. Yeah, he lost out. That's why he's over there doing magic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's crazy, but you're healing from this. 
and you getting justice. You know, divine timing is here. You know what I'm saying? You a loving, caring, nurturing person. You know what I'm saying? And and um, you aware that this person is a, a whoremonger. Um, he could have an STD over there. And you moved away from this person. This person is brokenhearted. You know what I'm saying? Because he wanted you to be in three-party situations and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's non-committal. So you dropped his ass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person mad because he can't control you. He want to come around you and apologize, but you's like, I don't want your apology. It's the end. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's the end of this cycle. You know what I'm saying? And he keep trying to talk to you and you know what I'm saying? But you're not paying him any attention. You being a total bitch to him, but that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. That's okay, girl. That's okay. Let's get some energy out here because this person is crazy, y'all. These people are evil. And he took a bribe to do this to you. He took a bribe to do this to you. But that's okay, baby. Your ancestors are on it. I mean, you over there crying and stuff because you ain't got nothing to eat. You can't feed your kids. And they sitting back laughing. He think it's cute. Okay. You're going to reap what you sow, you bastard. You're going to reap what you sow. And this is somebody that you're supposed to have a, a spiritual connection with. Mm -hmm. A spiritual partnership with. <laughs> Karma for your ass, bastard. Karma for your ass. He got a whole group doing rituals and having ceremonies on you. <laughs> there will be a message coming. You know, um, you may be getting something in the mail. You know what I'm saying? And um, whatever it is, it's going to make you happy because... Your financial constraints are going to be over because you will not be in poverty no more. Okay? You will not be in poverty no more after receiving this letter. This is going to be great news for you. Okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, he done, he done got on you through your cash app. I mean, that's crazy, man. I mean, this is crazy. You know, even if you had a friend, you want somebody want to cash up you $20. They can't even do it because he done blocked your cash app. Ruthless, baby. Ruthless. <laughs> he don't want you to have no friends, nothing. He don't want nobody helping you no kind of way. He wants you to call on him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. This person is going to prison for what they did to you. You know what I'm saying? And everything in your life is going to change. And it's a shame that it takes for this person, to go, this person to go get locked up in order for your life to change. Because he won't leave you to freak alone. I mean, you're going to be moving and everything, you know. That's a shame, man. But his downfall is your, is your rise. So take for him to go get locked up, you know what I'm saying, in order for you to have a new beginning. That's a shame. That's a shame. He don't want you to have no money, honey. He wants you in despair and everything. But this is for his ass. You know what I'm saying? This is for his ass. He is going to jail. You hear me? For the things that he has done. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's karma. He could have lost his job. You know what I'm saying? And people ain't hiring. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a mature male. Him and his age, in between the ages of 40 and 50. Sit up here, got gray hair on his balls. And he's sitting up here acting a fool like this. Acting a plum fool, y'all. <laughs> but you're going to get this message. And you're going to be happy. <laughs> you're going to be happy, boo. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be happy. You and whoever you with. Because you with somebody. Because I see the lovers out here. Y'all going to be happy. Y'all going to be happy. This is going to be some unexpected income. Something that you didn't even expect, that you didn't even know was coming in. Y'all finna be happy. All right? While wow, this bastard is in prison. You know what I'm saying? He up here trying to imprison you, basically. But it's for his ass. He wanted a new beginning, and he getting it in jail. In jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this main male? Mm-hmm. Is this main male? This toxic person? Mm-hmm. Going to jail. Go to jail. 
Don't pass go. Don't collect 200. Go straight to jail. Mm-hmm. And he over there in despair, too, because he couldn't get your money. You know what I'm saying? Wicked people. You know what I'm saying? And you blocking them. They, they blocking your money, which has nothing to do with them. Terrible, man. Yeah. But like I say, you heavily connected and you're going to receive this gift from the universe and this person is going to be in despair. They can't stop this gift the universe is giving you. The Father says yours is yours. Ain't nothing this person can do. And they concerned about it too. This person could be a mason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's concerned about it too. Um, this uh, masculine is also dealing with somebody that's over there got bad health. Mm-hmm. And somebody's going to pass away too. See? Karma. Mm-hmm. For doing all this. You know? It's a shame. It's really a shame. Let's put some goddess energy down here so I can close this up. Don't bother nobody. But divine patience is faith. You know what I'm saying? I know you heard. Thought he was your friend. Stabbed you in the back. Mm-hmm. Stab you in the back. This person is Masonic. Yes, he is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very fertile, honey. You're in your north node. You know what I'm saying? You're living in your life purpose. So you're heavily, heavily protected, and you're going to be taken care of financially. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't worry about it. You know, just, uh, just focus uh, on what's going on around you. You know, use your discernment and your intuition. The divine has given you that for protection. That's what the universe has given you. That's what the Father wants me to tell you. Um, and he wants you to focus because you got people around you that is concerned about your finances. You got a group of masons that is concerned about your finances, and they plan to steal these finances from you, so um, be careful, okay? And uh, make sure everything, every bank account and everything is secure. Just, you know, dot all your I's and cross your T's, okay? Because they after you. Because they some losers, po and broke, and they trying to steal from you, okay? All right. Well, the Father has spoken, guys. The universe has spoken. If you feel anybody could benefit from this reading, please send it to them, guys. Ladies, I love you and protect yourself, and I know that you know, the people closest to you, them the ones that stab you in your back, and it hurts. But you got to heal from it, and life goes on. You know what I'm saying? And um, definitely it's going to go on without these people. All right? So protect yourself. All right? I love you guys. And as I always end it, Divine Feminist, please, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. I'll see you guys on my next reading. Y'all be easy. Bye-bye.